Let's polish the skin now with my favorite tool for skinning, NG Skin Tools. NG Skin Tools is a paid uh, tool, so if you want to use it for production, it costs some money, but if uh, it's for students, uh, you can download the free evaluation copy on the website. I will add later the, the link on the uh, tra uh, tutorial uh, description. So now I have uh, the character that is already with the basic skin from the heat map, and I need to polish some of the parts in this case. We're gonna move and polish the the head. We're gonna skin the the jaw and some areas here on the face, and then I want to polish also a little bit here on the on the foot. I want to to polish maybe this area here and this. Okay, so let's start. The first thing it's I'm just gonna select my geometry and initialize the skin layer. So here I have the list of all my, my joints that are applied to the skin and I can filter like for instance if I put here neck or something it's gonna filter out my joints. Okay so the first it's um, I'm gonna check how is the deformation and as you can see here it's not really good so I'm gonna start and skin all the neck again. In order to do that uh, I'm just gonna create a new layer duplicating the current layer so I use this quite a lot, this technique, that it's uh, instead of creating layers and then mixing with the layer mask, that is um, probably the, the way intended to be used uh, NG Skin Tools layer system, I often use this as a version system, so where I can st store one layer on top of the other and then check uh, the changes or even do a quick change that I don't know, I'm not sure if it's gonna be right, but I just can just do this quick test and if I don't like it, I just delete the layer and, and continue again. Okay, so I have the neck here, and I'm just gonna select all these points. Uh, maybe just grow selection a little bit. Yeah, around there. Just want to select these ones. I'm using quite a lot of hotkeys here. So I can go a little faster on this video. I don't want to get it too long and probably it's gonna get long. Okay, so I'm just gonna select all the, the next thing and here on set of painting, I'm just gonna go to edit weights. There is this option that I can reassign quickly. So I'm just gonna show you the, the weight so you can see it there. And I'm just gonna go edit weights high using select influence on, on the lister. The lister is this one. So I'm just gonna select next zero one two and I'm just gonna sign. It's gonna sign very, very rough there. Okay, that's good. Now I'll go to my side view. And here, I'm just gonna unselect this area. So around there. So you can see this is the top of my neck. Uh, here's the base and here's the jaw. So I'm just gonna take it and assign to the head. So you don't see the colors because it's only visible when you paint, but it's there. So that's it. So I have my neck again. Of course, it's very strong, the, the paint, because I use a uh, high value here, but we will smooth later. That's not a big deal. I'm just going to keep it like that, so it's going to be easier later. Now for the job, for the job, what I want is to select the lower part of the, the lip. So I'm just going to select, for instance, this. Okay this point here, this vertex, and just gonna grow selection until I get around there, like half of my mouth. And interior is also been selected. And now from the side, I can select the rest. So you can see here, oops, no, this one. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna select around there and around there. So this is my jaw area, roughly. So I'm just gonna come here and type jaw, and this is only one. So in this case, I, because it's only one, I can assign here, or I can paint and float with a replace. So I'm just gonna do it like that, so replace. It's uh, intensity is one, so I float, and I have this. So this will give me this result, and it's going too much back. We can fix later that on the configuration. But for the moment, it's good enough. So I'm just going to keep it open. So now it makes easier my selection for the lips. 
and I'm just gonna do the the lip so I'm just gonna take the um, again the one of the points on the lip and just grow my selection roughly what I did before and I'm just gonna type here lip so I have uh, my lower lip lip low here just paint and again replace and repeat the operation for the upper lip so I'm just gonna select one of the points there grow my selection around there and paint this part now for the middle this one it's is the middle part so I'm just gonna do something a little more interesting so I'm just gonna select here go to the interior of the mouth okay if I can do it okay there up to here and this is I want to put it 50% so now it's 100% uh, on the lower lip so I'm just gonna use the same paint and here I'm just gonna put 0.5 and float there so now it's 50 50 and for the other side just can mirror like this and it's gonna get it okay so we have this ready now I want to do the this area of the eye so we have this control that it's called eye over that it will move all these surrounding areas of the eye so I'm just gonna use the same uh, one second because I over oh yeah it's still there good I was not sure if it's still on the on the selection because we just removed the un unused uh, influence before so like I'm just gonna grow it like this and then here I'm just gonna paint like this okay 50% just put a hundred okay that's good and now I'm just gonna mirror this but look at that this right when I select is not highlighting and the reason because it's not highlighting is because um, NG Skin Tools calculates the mirror um, like template or the mirror uh, mapping by position so if we check here on the influence association I'm just gonna move the window here so you can see here this is the influence that he creates so it's automatically everything and if we check here the eye you see eye left and this indicates that it's, it's in both directions it's eye right but probably eye over it's pointing yeah eye over left it's only one direction and it's pointing eye right and eye over uh, the right it's pointing to eye left so here it did a mistake so the way to to do it this manually it's just select these two disconnect the link so now we have this with the M in front means manual and now this is not mapped so I want to link again in both ways so now when I do the mirror you see now this changed to white because it's the one that I have highlighted here so now it's the mirror is correct it's very simple but what happened when we have many of these uh, ways like this so let's say I'm just gonna uh, remove the manual rules so it's back to what we have at the beginning and but I have many of these okay don't worry we have um, a little script that I prepare that we can use it so here it's uh, ng's mapping for M gear so it this is prepared to use M gear naming conventions to find the mapping so instead of using the the position it's gonna use the naming convention so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna close this quickly so the only thing I need to do is select the the geometry that has already initialized the the ng skin plugin and execute this script that's it it's done so now when I check my edit influence association you can see everything now it's with the M in front means everything is set manually one more time obviously it was not needed and this was only the I over that was needed but in some situations you may find more um, more need of create this uh, mapping so this will create it automatically for you and you don't need to worry too much so this script is gonna be included on the tutorial so don't worry you will have it 
and it's only working if you have this initialized of course you need to initialize this before um, executing the script and probably if you delete this you need to initialize again next time I mean if you delete this means if you come here and delete the custom node because you need to do that at the end of this skinning you don't want to keep the custom nodes on the ng-skin tools because it's slower than the regular skin so you want to collapse this back to the regular skin okay so we have it now good and now I'm just gonna move here on my uh, my leg and you can see here the the back it's like collapsing a little bit so I don't want that so here I'm just gonna do it by hand so I'm just gonna I mean by hand like painting just gonna take the leg and and here paint and I'm just gonna use add you can see this is already collapsing like that so I'm just gonna I can make this just replace I'm using a Wacom so it gets a uh, pressure sensitive sensitive thing so just gonna smooth like this and maybe a little bit like that well, it's not perfect probably I will do here like a uh, corrective line shape but it's not in the scope of this tutorial so for the moment we're just gonna leave it like that also checking the other controls and the last one the last one it's it's not perfect do you remember we add this extra tip um, joints on the on the fingers but we didn't add it here so that's the reason because it's not um, rotating full on the rotation of the control okay so I'm just gonna take this and replace like that and now I'm just gonna smooth everything a little bit here so just gonna smooth 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 so it doesn't get strong there okay that's good so it doesn't need to be perfect because this later is gonna be transferred to the shoes so we need to to keep that in mind and here for the neck another thing I can do is instead of paint the smooth like I did I can float the smooth in this case I'm just gonna put the position that allow me to see how I'm smoothing so I'm just gonna I'm sorry this is the teeth thing this is the, the lips something like this it's it's very random position but it's good enough to see what I'm doing so here just select again the neck around there don't select that much maybe even a little less okay so now he here on the paint we can do smooth and we can do like one two and so on until I get the smoothing I want I'm just undoing now or I can use relax that it does kind of a smooth but iterates like 100 times for instance so I'm just gonna put like maybe 20 let's see and the medium just it's gonna relax and you see it's maybe not that strong I'm just gonna put more strong so you see it did like several smooth and let me check okay this is about good okay I'm gonna start this video here and continue with the transfer to the other parts